All right, so this is my review of XES Ray's Balatu, and uh, he's an LA Comic Con exclusive. And uh, this is the black version. I'm not sure why they call it black, because he looks more brown to me. Uh, anyway, so uh, I got him on Gundammit for about 90 bucks. And uh, as of me making this video, and I have the site open right next to me, he's still in stock, so you could get him if you want to. Um, not really hard to find. I've seen him on other Chinese sites, so you know, definitely grab him if you like him. Um, <clears throat> now just quick note on gun damn it. Um, it's still a site that I like, but I've had recent orders come through with them. And this is just like a small aside where they come in very kind of like smashed up, beat up boxes for Balatu. It wasn't as bad, but for pumpkin princess, which I got recently from shows store. And I think that's the same. It's the same people as gun damn it. Uh, that thing came smashed to like just to no end like it was just really caved in uh very beat up box and it was unfortunate and what i'm noticing is they're using shipping boxes like the brown ones that are essentially form fitted to the box of the figure itself and they do use plastic corners to protect the boxes but that's really not enough because if it gets hit on the face or whatever it's going to get dented in and, it, and then the box for the figure is going to take direct damage now personally i don't care about boxes too much but if it's an expensive figure, which most are these days, I don't want the box to be kind of like smashed up. Uh, it is definitely annoying. Um, and for people who are just kind of like in box collectors or who do put more emphasis on the boxes, I could imagine that's even worse. So it annoys me, definitely. Um, it wasn't always like this also. So I've been, I've placed multiple orders through Gundammit and they usually arrive safely. What's more annoying is they only use a single layer of bubble wrap. Uh, that's completely unacceptable. I've sold stuff on eBay. I always armor the things I sell. Um, Big Bad Toy Store uses very large boxes with plenty of space inside. It's just, it's supposed to be an industry standard. Unfortunately, so even Balatu, his box got damaged likely because they're form fitting the boxes to the figure itself. So I'll show pictures of Pumpkin Prince's and uh, Balatu's kind of box as they came to me. Uh, very unfortunate because Gundam it does have probably one of the best customer service I've seen, but they really need to fix the shipping because that's just completely unacceptable at this price. I've had issues with this company in the past. Their figures tend to be brittle, especially the joints. And uh, if you've seen my previous video uh, review of uh, Berenice, Tadala, and uh, I forgot the other one's name, but yeah, some serious issues. So I'm really interested in seeing if this one is... Uh, any better. And uh, from what I've seen, I've been playing around with him for a while. He 100% is. He blows him out of the water in pretty much every way aside from articulation because he's a pretty big person. Yeah. So uh, let's start with the review. Uh, let's see how tall he is since he's just standing here. And obviously, he's got significant height on him, but probably around like nine inches. Yeah. So the top of like the kind of mane on him, he's like nine and a half inches. So he's definitely got like some serious height on him uh, in terms of weight. And I could already tell he's going to, he's definitely more than a pound. You could feel it. Just zero that in. Okay. So almost 25 ounces. So uh, he's over one and a half pounds. Uh, I think that just might be the heaviest figure I own at this point. Well, not the heaviest, uh, but. He's, he's up there, so he's definitely a heavyweight. Um, so he's definitely got the size on him. And uh, let's just see how he looks up close. And let me just bring him down here. Get this camera to focus on his face. So that's, that's just so, that's menacing as hell. And uh, there's just so much paint detail here. You can see there's washes throughout. Like there's even a little grizzled white wash they've got going on. Um, it's not really a wash so much as a dry brush, but it, it looks incredible. Um, his mouth opens up. Let's see what he looks like in there. Yeah, even inside is washed. So that, that just looks so realistic and just cool. Like that looks like an actual predator just staring you down. Um, and you know, just imagine if you're a gladiator and this is the first thing you had to fight. Uh, incredible. He's got that helmet as a belt. Probably some poor dude he killed, absolutely slaughtered, keeping that as a trophy really sick. He's got skulls hanging off him. You could tell this is not 
something you'd want to be fighting. Um, and what, what's interesting is these heads have ball joints on them, these skulls. So if you wanted to, I'm guessing you might be able to fit these on one of their figures. That's interesting. Um, <clears throat> just the wash, the musculature on them. You can see the veins bulging out, incredibly detailed. Um, very dirty, kind of dingy looking armor. Like it, it just has that whole swords and sandals vibe. Uh, very appealing. I like this a lot. Um, so he looked menacing as hell in the pictures, and I'm glad to say up close in person, uh, just as much. So that's great. Um, <clears throat> so in, for me, appeal, he gets a five out of five. Um, that's just very nice looking in general. XE Estrays knows how to make good looking figures. But little unfortunate update, which I'll just kind of keep right in this review. So my stupid backdrop just fell, uh, knocked him over clean. And uh, he. this is one of the things that actually happened straight out of the box. Um, well, let's get to that in a bit, but let's just continue with the appeal. So uh, as I was saying, yeah, XES rays, they know how to make really good looking figures. Um, and he's no exception. Like, he looks great. But one of the things they tend to struggle with is just kind of like the overall kind of soundness build quality of their figures that goes from the figure itself uh, right down to the accessories. So let's go into the articulation section, just overall quality of him, and uh, let's get right into it. So let's start with his head. So this his head is just on a barbell joint, so you can move that however you want. That's very nicely done. You do get a little movement on this kind of mane here. Doesn't really do much, but yeah, the head, for what it's worth, articulates pretty decently. Like that's pretty cool. So that's nice. Uh, you do get articulation on the mouth. Be very careful with the detailed pieces on XCS race figures because they like to snap. And uh, I'll actually tell you what happened to this one in just a bit, but let's continue with the, his articulation. So his arms come up about that much. By the way, very smooth joints. But I did just oil them in case anyway, because XCS ray figures didn't have good experiences with them in the past. So just as a precaution. Good to say that, yeah, no issues so far with him in terms of articulation. Yeah, single bend on the elbow, so that's unfortunate. Um, but, you know, he's so bulky, it's like how much would you actually be able to get? So not a huge deal for me. And just giant ball swivels for the wrists, just standard stuff. Okay, um, he does have a diaphragm cut here. It's essentially non-functional. Like, it doesn't do anything, almost. Like, you get a little wiggle out of it, but you really have to kind of, like, dig into him. Um, so, essentially nothing on that opera piece. Um, there is a very kind of tight ball joint down there. Um, so, probably wouldn't screw around with that too much, but you can throw him around. Like, you can get him to twist and pivot. Um, and I'm guessing he'd probably just loosen up over time also, but not bad so far. Um, in terms of what's going on with his legs, let's take a look under his kilt. Get him a full split here. So just ball joints down there. Um, they seem pretty good. And, uh, there is soft fabric here on his skirt, so if you're interested in that, yeah, let me just take a look. Yeah, soft fabric there. These are flexible pieces, which I wish they used more of, because this won't break. Um, so you do get a thigh swivel there. And uh, you do get a double bend at the knee, so a nice one too. That's pretty damn good, considering how huge this guy is. So if you wanted to, and let's just get him in a stance, because why not? You could, you could get him in a stance easily. Very little trouble getting him to just kind of stand up there. And uh, he's very stable too. Like, he's not going to fall over once you have him balanced right. So, he could go toe to toe with your gladiators if you own anything else from this line. No problem. And uh, that just looks menacing as hell. Uh, I do wish he had claws, like, instead of like kind of human fingernails, because doesn't really make sense. Like he's got, he's got claws on his feet, but his hands, they're just like human fingernails, which is a little weird. Like, see that he should have like razor sharp claws, but whatever. Okay. Um, <clears throat> continuing. 
And his feet are just on standard, kind of like the, it's got a hinge with a pretty good ankle rocker, so no complaints there. Yeah, um, that's just a hinge, I think. Yeah, that's just a hinge, and it's got a nice ankle rocker. So pretty standard articulation for a big figure like this, I'd say. Um, no real complaints. Uh, now, just his articulation's decent. Um, you know, could have used a much better diaphragm joint, honestly, um, because you don't need to have a bricked off figure just because it's big in terms of like, just like a torso, but that's a small negative for me. Same thing with the double bend at the elbow, could have used one here too. Um, would have significantly improved his articulation for sure. Okay. But now something a little bit more annoying here is just kind of like, and you know what, let's actually save this complaint for the articulation and for the accessory section, which we're going to get into right now, because I guess it falls more in there. But for articulation engineering, I'd say he gets a 4.3. The figure itself is a, it feels very solid. doesn't feel like anything's going to break. Um, so he gets a 4.3. Very impressive because I've had bad experiences with their previous figures. Joints just snapping like chalk and things like that. Now, it could be that he's so big, so the joints are just inherently stronger, which is probably the case. So I'm very interested to see what their new figures are going to be like, like their new female figures, their new gladiators, uh, the new Roman soldiers they have. I'm definitely going to be reviewing some of those. So more interested to see how they hold up. But he's very solid. So 4.3 for articulation engineering. Now, accessories, let's get into it. So his armor pieces would technically be accessories because they all come off. Like these are all interchangeable and things like that. While... These spikes are a nice touch. They look cool and everything. Mine just, one of them was just broken right out of the box. This one here. And uh, I fixed it. And to my bad luck, when my stupid backdrop fell, uh, it knocked the figure over with it. And uh, when he fell on the floor, several of the spikes just took catastrophic damage. So this one, the tip snapped off right here. And then this one here snapped clean off. Again, XES ray figures just. The detail pieces they do are just very prone to breakage. And you could tell when you hold it in your hand, like especially their accessories like swords, spears, and things like that. They use such a rigid, rigid, fragile plastic. And uh, it, it's just very ten it has a tendency to just snap like chalk. So be very careful handling him. I will give you a bit of advice in terms of how you could fix this easily. And we're lucky just because of the shape of this spike. And I'll put pictures up of him after I have him fixed up. You could just snip off the broken piece and then just take a permanent marker, like a gray one, and just kind of paint over the white sections. So I've, do I've done that before, and uh, it looks good as new. This should be using a much more flexible, soft plastic. Most companies do that. Thankfully, nothing happened to these big claws here. But the fact that they're so fragile... And I have a feeling they're probably going to break at some point. Uh, you know, I'd probably just get rid of these if any of them broke and then just keep it as a standard gauntlet, which I'd like better anyway. Um, because these things block his hand off. And when you're changing hands out, I could see, yeah, there's a chance that if you're not careful, you might knock one of these like blades out or potentially break them. So just something to be mindful of. Um, small gripe, but not a huge, huge issue for me. Because very easy to fix. Okay, so in terms of accessories, yeah, you do get the armor pieces. Yeah, and uh, if you've owned XES Ray's figures before, they are swappable. Getting them to swap on some of their older figures is a pain in the ass if you just look at my older review, but that's the intended, you know, gimmick. Um, much easier on him. These pieces come on and off very easily. Okay, so he comes with this giant kind of like bladed mace thing also. Uh, so that looks great very robust also this one does not feel like it's going to break uh, very nicely done so in terms of accessories would have been a much higher score but i'm going to give him a 4.2 because the armor pieces themselves are pretty solid uh, but the little detailed pieces are just very prone to breaking which is unfortunate so 4.2, it's an okay score. Pretty good, actually. No real complaints. Uh, aside from the detailed pieces that could snap. So in terms of overall, just his price. Uh, he's 90 bucks. He's a huge figure. So 
I'd say he should get. I'm going to drop his score just a bit just because the breakage is they're annoying. Um, I'd say 4.3. So he's about 90 bucks. That's not terrible considering you have like some tiny figmas, like a four and a half foot uh, tall, five inch tall figure that's like 100 plus in some cases. Uh, I'd say 4.3 is a good score um, for him, definitely. Um, not at all disappointed with buying him. So that brings his overall rating to 4.5. And very decent figure. Better than decent. He's pretty above average, I'd say. So pretty surprising release from XES Rays. This figure is amazing. Um, I really like this one. Uh, <clears throat> so that's really it for my review. Very surprised by this release. I'm definitely going to get more of them, uh, the big ones. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything, feel free to leave them down below. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Um, take care.